In this video, I'm going to talk about line height, text decoration, and text transform. I'm not going to um, talk about some of the other less used styles, but there's many other ones that you've been practicing and that you can find in, online. If you think that you, sh you should be able to control something in CSS, you probably can do it and you may need to look up how to do it, but 99% of the time you can find a property that does what you want. Okay, so line height. When would I use line height? Um, let's take a quick look at our um, browser window. So typically a, a common time to use line height is in list items. So I want these list items to be a little bit um, farther apart from each other than they currently are. So I'm going to increase the line height. Do I want to do it on both of these things? Well, yes. Let's see a couple of different options. So if I wanted to do it on all LIs, line height, how much space do I want to take up? Well, by default, 1 EM. If I wanted a little bit more than the, the, height, the height of my font, let's call it um, 1.5 EM. Again, I have um, the opportunity to use EMs here. I can also use pixels, but uh, because this is, we're talking about a list um, that is a list of text. I would be more inclined to use EMs here. Refresh. Okay, so that has increased the, the overall height of each of the LIs in both of my lists because I put it on the LI. If I was really more concerned with, um, with the directions and not so much the ingredients, then I would want to narrow it down by talking about the OL instead. Now the top one closes up, the bottom one goes down a little bit. Maybe I want it much bigger between the lines. Okay. Now, the reason why I did this is to show you where that line height actually takes effect. So it's making each one of these two and a half, not just between the numbers. So usually, um, and, and I'm, I'm going to leave it at that, because usually usually I will actually increase the spaces between um, number one and number two and number two and number three, but not inside. And this I have to do in a different way that we're going to learn um, either next week or the following week. So just to show you, line height, will sh if you have multiple lines, will affect each line. That's a little gross. I think I'll um, go back to 1.5. Again, I would keep it in something proportional like M's. <clears throat> okay, text decoration and text transform. Let's do some more work on um, my H2s. So I would like those H2s, which as a reminder, look like this. Here's my H2, here's another H2. Let's say I would like these to be all in uppercase and I would like them to be underlined also. Here we go. text decoration, underline. You can also do strike through, which is um, held handy if you're trying to highlight that something has been changed, has changed or has been removed. And if I want them to be um, all in uppercase, text transform is my friend. Do not let your client go through and edit so everything is in caps. Just do it in CSS. Here we are. Bang, done. Onward. <laughs>